What's up, everybody? True Seeker here. Mary Beth Cunnett personally invited the anti-police activist Ethan Ethos to speak to 6th through 8th grade students at Wildwood Elementary Schools. Ethos is a self-described radical who routinely posts violent anti-police rhetoric online. Well, career day in elementary school is a great chance to get kids dreaming about their futures when they can grow up and become teachers, doctors, and apparently cop haters. One elementary school in Chicago enraged parents, understandably, after its principal invited an activist to the school who routinely posts violent anti-cop rhetoric online. Fox's Matt Finn was contacted about this, reported it, and has all the details. Matt? Tucker, that Chicago elementary school principal Mary Beth Kunat suddenly retired with just weeks left in the school year. It happened after she invited a police extremist to talk to students at Wildwood Elementary School here in Chicago. That extremist on social media calls himself a radical. In February, when a Chicago police commander was shot and killed execution style, Ethos posted online, F him and his family. Ethos also posts the term CPDK, which stands for Chicago Police Department Killers. The anti-police extremist refers to cops as pigs and posted about killing all the rich people. Ethos has hatred for police because he alleges that a Chicago police officer killed his friend with a taser. The school principal says she brought in this anti-police extremist to talk to students about his poetry and civic work, but things went off the rails. We talked to one mother whose three children listened to Ethos on career day. He told them that all the police were bad and all the police wanted to kill people. I was very disappointed that someone would come into the school and preach hate uh, about the police. Or even if he was talking about anyone else, it would have upset me. Mary Beth Kunat wrote a letter of apology before resigning, writing in part, I was present when his narrative took a negative turn about policing, at which point I immediately intervened. I care about your children and would never intentionally expose them to or endorse this type of negativity. Some parents dispute that Kunat immediately intervened, saying Ethos spoke to a few classes without interruption, and that Kunat, the principal, has recently been pressured by some parents to introduce anti-police philosophies to students. Nearly every parent we talked to said the principal was doing an excellent job, but ended up making this grave mistake. We talked to one Chicago police officer whose children went to the school. He says the career day speech was an indoctrination, and now the students have been exposed to Ethos online accounts. Insulted, angry. I can't believe that she didn't vet him properly. Look on his Facebook account, because some of the things that are in his Facebook account are absolutely horrible. Ethos declined our request for an interview. The Chicago School District says it was not aware of Ethos and did not approve him speaking to students. I briefly spoke to Mary Beth Kunat on the phone and she emphasizes that she suddenly retired and did not resign with many years left in her contract. Tucker. Matt Finn from Chicago, thank you. So what idiot just books someone to speak at a public school without even doing any kind of a slight background on what they even talk about? I mean, yeah, I, everybody makes stupid mistakes, but stuff like this, you think you would actually use some kind of a vetting process to figure out who you're going to allow to speak to the young students, right? At least that's what parents think that the schools do. I mean, just think about all the other assemblies that students actually been, you know, a part of that parents don't even know. They don't even know about it. This one, there was a lot of concern because he was talking about killing cops and everything else. And so I could definitely see that getting back to the parents and now the parents are pretty upset about what the school allowed. And so the principal immediately retired. He says, nope, nope, I'm, I'm just retiring. I'm not even going to speak to you anymore. No comment. Retired. And that's pretty much how it's going to go. But what do you guys think about all this? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video,